Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here from Serpent X Tech, and in a previous video, we tore down the rack um helium hot spot uh miner or cool spot whatever you want to call it and we were having issues with connectivity via bluetooth or just network connectivity in general come to find out it's actually the micro sd card that came with the unit that is corrupt it was a 32 gigabyte card and a while ago they recommended or at least rack did recommended an upgrade to 64 gigabyte sd um, this miner was at a secondary location, so I didn't have, you know, on-site access. And I finally got my hands on it. And so to resolve or fix this particular device, which it is, again, a Raspberry Pi 4, and there's all kinds of great things you can do with it. Um, we did grab a larger 64 gigabyte micro SD that we already had on hand. And if you look around through various forums and various uh, other sources, people complain of the same thing. Solid red light, no Bluetooth connectivity, Helium app can't connect, uh, no network activity on the NIC, so on and so forth. Um, but both Rack and uh, another source, you know, recommends uh, upgrading the firmware. And actually, when you click it, it links to this page of replacing the SD card. And all you really need is that 64 gigabyte SD, uh, the firmware or the latest firmware right here, which will take you to a specific link. Um, this additional sources, I got the firmware directly from Rack itself in the document uh, documentation center uh, for Rack 2287. We saw this number on the actual board or the LoRa um, uh, chip itself. And so I downloaded that firmware and I was good to go. But I also use this one. It works just as fine from, uh, I think it's called Mint. I could be pronouncing that correctly. MNTD. I know a number of my colleagues covered it. But you know how, how bad I am with names. But anyways, I got the firmware. We use Belina Etcher, which we've used many a times for flashing Hive OS um, onto a USB or what have you. So it should be uh, very easy to do. But you can download, I usually use the portable version, uh, get whichever one you need for your operating system. And then what you want to do is you're going to flash that firmware onto that micro SD, that newer card. And once you have it flashed and it's done, you know, let it verify, let it do its thing. Once Belina Etcher is done, then just simply, you know, eject the card properly um, or the USB like you normally would be. Uh, you you know you would do over there in the bottom right if you're on a Windows system by the time you hit the up arrow and then eject USB or eject micro SD um, obviously the helium hotspot miner needs to be turned off and then you're gonna put the SD card in there it is a little bit hard to get when it's inside the case but when it's outside the case not a problem just use some tweezers and you'll be fine uh, and then when you plug it in and you know, insert the micro SD and plug in the power. Just be be patient. It did take, they say wait about 30 minutes. It did take me roughly 15 minutes. And then the network um, adapter, the NIC, actually started blinking, showing activity because it's trying to sync the chain and all that other good stuff. So it didn't take long whatsoever. Just give it some time to initialize and then you should be able to connect to it via your Helium app. I still have the old one or whatever app you're using. I know Finstra has its own app as well. Whatever app you're using, you should be able to connect to it now via Bluetooth. But um, I'm gonna try to explore some other opportunities since this is a Raspberry Pi 4. Maybe I might just get another Raspberry Pi 4 or wait for the 5 because 5 just came out. But it's very simple to do and I just wanted to talk you through it. Uh, it's unfortunate that the original SD card or micro SD card that came with the unit became corrupt. Uh, I'm guessing some sort of update uh, over the network just corrupted it. Uh, but you just upgrade to a larger card, get the latest firmware, use Belina Etcher to uh, flash that firmware onto that micro SD, plug it into your device, power it on, give it 15 to 30 minutes, and then you should be good to go. But that's going to do it for today's video. Uh, please do me a favor on the way out. Hit the like button. Make sure to get subscribed and hit the notification bell to stay up to date as well. As check out the links in the description to help support the channel and what we do here. I also will leave links down to the Rack um, Documentation Center where the official firmware is and as well as the MNTD or Mint uh, replace 
the SS, uh, the SD card page. All the resources utilized will be down there. Check it out. Have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.